Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be building a new sleeve hitch draw bar slash tractor moving device. I've been using this one for several years now, and uh, I throw it together to use only as a draw bar to pull like a wagon or something. And uh, it just became convenient to do other things. All this is is a Brindley sleeve hitch disc. This bolts to the bottom of the frame to hook to your sleeve hitch. And then this was just a random piece of aluminum that was in the scrap. As you see, it's seen better days. What I use this for is I will put it on the sleeve hitch this way and I can take this out and either hook wagons or trailers to this or I can leave this in back up under the front of a tractor, pick it up and move it around with no help when they don't run. As you see, it's in rough shape. I've straightened it lots and lots of times. It's been welded once. So today I would like to build a heavy duty one so that I am not constantly bending and breaking this one. This is what I have to start with. I had this built several years ago to use on the Brindley sleeve hitch disc as a hitch because this little thin one isn't heavy duty enough for a double gang disc, it just bends. Now that I no longer use a double gang disc that way, I'm going to use this piece and build a adapter. This was just in the scrap. It is steel, it's not aluminum, it's just chrome plated apparently. And it's going to work. You see it already looks like it used to be a draw bar. Not sure what they were using it on. But I'm about to be using it on this. Uh, this hole is far too far forward. So I'm gonna have to drill one back here I think. Uh, we'll see how it ends up, but I would like to get this bolted together. I still want to be able to take it apart. So I want to get it bolted together and uh, we'll give it a try. So the first thing I am doing is like I said, this hole is too far forward. So I've set this on here about how I'd like it to sit. And I'm just going to try and mark that up good enough to see. Just using a pencil because that's all that'll fit. Now you can see where I'd like to have another hole at. So I'll get that hole drilled and then we will try to mount this piece up. Alrighty. Got my hole or my spot center punched. Okay, make sure the pin goes through the hole. It does. Put this on here. Let's see. Here we go. Take a look at this. I'll try and show you guys. Got a hole lined up pretty much right there. So I am going to probably put a half inch bolt through there to hold this together and uh, we're going to take a look and see how we like things. Okay, I put a half inch bolt in here. It's looking pretty good. I'm not seeing a lot of problems here. It hooks up, it's fairly tight, but it's going to work. I think I'm going to drill another hole through down here all the way through to put a second bolt in just to keep it from doing any weird stuff. Actually, I might not have to do that. It doesn't want to do much and that bolt's not even tight. We might just leave it like this, tighten this up. We got a pretty heavy draw bar here now. I would also like to build a different kind of thing than this. Um, a lot of times 
when I move hydrostatics around, I will take this clip out, drop this, or take this out of the drawbar, drop this through the drawbar of the hydrostatic tractor, get this under the drawbar, and get the pin through this also to move it around. But to get that, I have to get on and off of the tractor. So I'd like to fashion something that instead of just being a big nut and bolt head sticking up, I'd like it to be a pin that I can go through the drawbar of a tractor with. So I am going to see what I can fashion to build like that. The problem is it also has to be strong enough to just wedge underneath the front of a tractor and move it around. So I'm gonna see what I can come up with there. Okay, so here is what I came up with for a better pin. I got a lock nut, the end of a used 5 8 bolt, two flat washers, and this. I'm just going to put the lock nut on up to around here somewhere, put a flat washer on, put this through here, flat washer and uh, wing nut. That way I am able to take this off fairly easy without a wrench or any tools. So hopefully that works. Okay, this is the final product of this. Take, I got the lock nut about where I want it. Flat on top, flat on bottom. There we go. Now I can pick tractors up, move things around just like this. And if I need to be lower, I can simply take this off, put it on the bottom, and uh, just pull the pin out over here and flip the whole unit over. That's what I did with the old one. Now that we've got this figured out, let's finish up putting this together. Okay, so I'm going to leave this on this hitch to do this, but I'm going to tighten this bolt down as tight as I can get it. Like I said, it's a half inch bolt, so three quarter inch wrench does the trick. That should be pretty darn solid. Here we go. This thing's got some weight to it too now. Well, it went in, it wasn't all too thrilled about it. Um, I think part of that is this is bent and bowed a little bit. But as I pull on it and tug on it and use it and the holes get wallered out, it will fit looser and better. And if I need, I can always unbolt this, move it up a hole and use this hole and this hole instead. So right now I'm using these and that works just fine. So fairly simple little build and uh, it makes it a lot easier for you to move tractors around by yourself. You can put this all together one person and then like I said just back underneath of a tractor, pick it up and away you go. Let's go try it out.
Okay, so it's better with hydraulic lift. You just boop. But it can be used with manual lift too if you have a big enough arm. Like I said, very useful. You want to use this as a drawbar. You just take this wing nut off. You can take this right off and use this as a normal drawbar. But then you have lift on your drawbar, which I enjoy when I use the hay rake. It's easier to adjust that way. Okay, so now you guys see how useful this thing is. I'll give you some dimensions. The drawbar part is approximately a foot long, um, which is plenty. It does have that curved piece in it. So it's about a foot long from the inside of here. This piece is about six and three quarters inches at the top. And then I've just got a brace in here, about six inches. This sticks out about two and three quarters, not quite. But really you only need it sticking out an inch and a half is plenty. Two inches is definitely more than enough. As far as how tall it is, we're at four and three quarters outside. And I think you only need closer to 30 inches inside. I've got a lot of extra space in here, but I would have to measure that. Also, the thickness, I believe this is just half inch steel. Yep. This isn't quite as thick. Like I said, this is just a 5 8 bolt that I found in a used bin. Uh, same with all this stuff I just found all this in the used bin uh, this and this were in the scrap uh, scrap steel so built this several years ago so I was not able to make a video doing that or anything I thought about painting this but it's just going to get scratched and scraped up so I think I'm going to leave it like this and uh, call it a day one thing that I will recommend is I didn't bother cutting anything down because well I'm lazy but uh, if you put your lift up here, that is plenty. That's where my other one is. The further out you get, the higher you can go and the lower you can go. So the more travel you have, but also uh, the more weight takes off of the front end. So if I had this out another six inches, I think my front end would come off the ground moving that 120 and it's a fairly light tractor. Uh, but as it stands, I think this is decent for what I'm going to do with it. It'll get used as a drawbar occasionally. I do still have the other one that I can use for light duty stuff. But uh, yeah, whatever you guys find, uh, like I said, I just threw this together. I did not buy any new parts to build this. It was all stuff that was in my scrap steel. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And uh, if you are new here, hit the subscribe button too and uh, show me your support. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments section. I try to get to all of them. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you on the next one.